What's up everyone? Welcome to Dan's Digital Playground. Today we're going to talk about something very important to Lohan Academy. Well, it's this new book, Digital Technology and Inclusive Growth. What makes this book so special? You're about to find out. Let's go. Publication is now a book, and it's called um, The Digital Economy and Inclusive Growth. It's actually a manual of sorts for the West to study and read why China, how China succeeded, how much has happened. Wow, that gave me a lot of food for thought, but my head is about to explode. Let's try to make sense of this all. Every large-scale technological advancement eliminates old and out-of-date technologies and business processes. This is Schumpter's theory of creative destruction in a nutshell. It is the process of the new economy replacing the old economy. However, the digital revolution is different from other technological upheavals in the past. Low barriers of adoption and penetration of digital technology, the non-competitiveness of digital information, and the near zero marginal operating costs. These characteristics determine the digital revolution's inclusive nature and give birth to the current creative destruction taking place now in our world. Let's take a look at some real-world examples. This year, during the pandemic, medical institutions from Shanghai to Minnesota has opened up outpatient care for people who need medical services. Not only has remote medicine allowed people to seek medical care from the comfort of their own home, but it has also destroyed geographic barriers. In addition, the barriers to use these platforms are very low no matter the gender, whether they are disabled or elderly, can easily start a business of their own on any of these platforms. Now, these types of technological advancements are not only happening in China, but China's unique experience is being replicated and repeated across the globe. For example, in 2017 in Africa, Kenya launched the M-Pesa, which uses technological innovation to give financial services through ordinary cell phones to their population. Oh yeah, and registration is really easy. This idea has already been replicated and recreated in 10 countries throughout Africa and Eastern Europe. It is just another example how digital technology is bridging the gap allowing for more underdeveloped areas around the world to have access to financial services through mobile payments. There are tons of data-derived examples in the book of how the rapid development of digital technology in China is driving inclusive growth of the digital economy. I've already said too much. I don't want to spoil the rest of the book for you, so make sure to buy it by clicking the link below on Amazon. Okay, see you on the next episode. Qin Jin Guang Ming Fan Ta Yan Mian Lin Zhe.